Hello, I'm Teresa Garcia, also known as Amehana Arashi. And I am taking a moment while I am out and about to record a poem that is for the month of August that was inspired by the numerous forest fires that are going on. Each fire has its own spirit. Thus, each fire is a bit different. And this is in honor of the many forest firefighters out there, both alive and dead, those who survive and those who don't. Today is August 24th of 2017, and this is entitled Forest Fire. One spark is all it takes, one spark a life takes. Stretching and spreading by day or by night, threading and wending through foliage bright, dry, licking fingers, hungry for more, ever reaching to fill its core with life, bright life, delicious and precious, more, more despite what's in store. Finally standing tall at the peak of the pine, on the top of the ridge, crackling and roaring, all I taste is now mine. Valley to valley, he stretches and fills, Roasting the deer and choking fish gills in the stream, the stream, the glorious stream, once flowing blue, now filling black, boiling beneath the heat of the fire spirit's gaze, wishing and crying for cooler days. Smoke, dark smoke, rolls and builds in the sky, sweeping over the mountains, a harbinger of doom, death on the wind, death on the land. Flowing down the stream as only death can, devouring all that he can catch until life pushes back at last, dancing in his own domain. Forest fire creates and calls the rain. Fire and water clash, causing lightning to flash, opposites entwined, loving the dance. Round about the edges, the tribe of men play, doing what they can and may, to curb his power, his lust for life, kerchiefs tied against his musk. <coughs> when he tries to slip fingers down into their lungs, while they yield pick, shovel in the cloud, or water now tame and mild dropped from the sky, as if he were a child playing at water balloons. The fools, I'll burn them over, take their tools. Perhaps in their foiled tents, I'll find a rent then add them to me, I'll make the attempt. Wind now bends to as fire bids, driving fire over the men. Through their hell, the men persevere, thinking of their families living in fear, of the fire so near their doors. Let me see them, just once more, each implores, to some force beyond mortal kin, as the fire burns over the men. And shadows fly home, so dark and black, walking through doors, visiting back, seeing in scenes unexpected and stark, on fearing hearts to leave new marks. Not a word can they say, but those that see can't look away, from husbands and lovers, from fathers and brothers, who suddenly are gone and know not to where, if back to preserve bodies or up that climbing stair, or if they will come home again, if in color in life, or as ash in death, the fire cares not, only dances and burns, more ancient than man and laughing in mirth. Then, finally once more, lays down to sleep within the ground, and eventually wears a leafy growing crown. And there ends the poem. Part of this is from experience, as my father was a correctional fire that worked at a fire camp, so he often went out on fires. And he was burned over a few times with his crew. There was one time that I can remember very vividly where father was out on a fire and my mother and I sitting in the kitchen, and I believe my brother was with us in the same room. Mom was making dinner and we were in the kitchen doing our own thing when we saw dad walk through the kitchen door. 
but he was all black like a shadow. Just this dark shadow it was just a silhouette. It was all, you know, we could kind of sort of see features, but not really. He was just black. Just, just. We found out later that about that time, he and his crew had been burned over. They survived thanks to those wonderful foil fire blankets. And he came back to tell his tale. But that was an incident that I will never ever forget. It was quite an interesting thing. And that experience is also part of what goes into things like what goes on in the Shadow Chronicles. Because the Shadow Chronicles, when I finally get to finishing and polishing those tales up for the market, which I began in high school and set aside because my writing wasn't quite up to the par I wanted. But once I finished those, the soul being a shadow is part of what was going into the title on that series. And that's really all I have to say for today, for the poem and the vlog. I will be uploading this to YouTube as soon as I can, and then linking to it from my Patreon and my Facebook page, my author page, publishing page, my Patreon, my, my, um, my different blogs and personal journals. If you like my stories and my poems and the other projects that I work on, Please do consider becoming a patron through Patreon or making a one-time donation through PayPal. It helps to keep me supported as, um, you know, a lot of hours go into the various things that I do. One example is one of the illustration projects that I am working on for another publishing company currently that I look forward to getting to share once that is ready to go and can be linked to and shown off and orders taken but uh, for each illustration for that for example is running about two to four hours total this isn't you know from line art all the way through the finished complete color panel Right now, I'm only getting about $3 per illustration. This is standard for some companies. A lot more work goes into just one panel than what a lot of illustrators get out of the work that they do. So tip your favorite illustrator, please. Um, even if it's not me, because we don't necessarily get a basic minimum wage from some of the things that we do and not everybody manages to get you know, a day job and anyway that's my little blurb i've gone off tangent enough i hope you enjoyed the poem if you like it please you know follow subscribe for more because i i do poems and short stories as well as the epic novels, and I hope to see you another day.